Hey there guys, Sean Allen here. Just letting you know, this is a pre-recorded video for a later date. Don't know when. The day right now is here. And for some reason, the vlog for today wasn't able to upload or I didn't have any of the films. So that's the reason why I'm posting this video. And this is going to be a bit of a hard one to watch because um, it involves a very very sad story now as you guys know I have cats here at the house I have four cats I have Spidey Minnie Sue both great tabbies and Shadow and Spalding both black cats now for those of you who have been watching my videos for a while there should be five but there's four now this video is very late. I wanted to do this for a while, but I just haven't had the the courage. Maybe not just the courage, just emotionally wasn't able to post about this. And it, it still hurts to this day. Um, I'm going to try to do this in such a way where I don't have to completely edit this thing down. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be the hard part. Okay, so... As you all know, I just mentioned I have cats here in the house. And we have four cats. There used to be five. You're probably wondering who is gone. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while or watch my Instagram stories, you guys know that the cat that was my... really one of my little best friends, Simon, he passed away. He lived a long cat life. He lived to be 19 years old. <laughs> to be honest, guys, that is really old for a cat. He is by far the oldest cat we've ever had. Sylvester and Ivy, you guys never met Ivy, but some of you may remember years ago, I used to show videos of Sylvester. He was our black and white cat, big fluffy cat. He lived to be 18. Well, Simon surpassed both of them. And he's now considered our oldest cat. 19 years old. <sighs> You're probably wondering how long has it been since he has been gone. Well, it's been about... About four months now. Today is... The day I'm recording this video is March 24th. But I'm, record, but I'm posting it this video later on. But uh, he's been gone for about four months now. And when I used to go to Universal, like, when I would come home, I'd be like, oh, I can't wait to pet Simon. But then it's like, oh, wait, I can't. Simon was a unique cat. He was very unique. He wasn't from our neighborhood. He was a stray. He came from my grandmother's old neighborhood back in Linwood. This was, like, years ago in 2001. 2002, sorry. And... He was the scrawniest little thing that I can remember. He was six months old when we got him. So his birthday was like in July or June. Which made him 19 because he passed away in 2019. He was the scrawniest little guy I've ever seen. I'd ever seen. And my god, he had a lot of health issues. He was probably our... One of our only cats that got sick a lot. Like, even when we got him home, the first few months we had him, he had an issue. I was petting him underneath his chin one day, and I found this lump. I think it was on his left side. And I felt it, and I was like, this doesn't feel right. Well, we took him to the vet, and it was a cyst. It wasn't cancerous, but it was pretty dang close to an artery. And it was a very risky surgery. We could have lost him at the point when he was a kitten. But the doctors were very skillful and were able to remove the cyst. He had a little patch right here where they had to basically like shave off the fur. And he had stitches right over here. He had to go back to have them removed, but he lived. But that wasn't the only thing that happened to him. He also had fleas. He had ear mites. This is when we got him. And he had that. <laughs> he, 
he was a mess. And, you know, it just seemed like his health issues went up and down. A number of years ago, near the beginning when I started doing YouTube videos, maybe a little before that, I can't exactly remember when it, this happened, but there was a point where I, this may have happened actually before I was on YouTube, because I remember I had people on Facebook saying they were sorry about Simon. And he, yeah, I think it was before YouTube. This was like probably 2010, 2010, 2009, somewhere in there. And he had this really bad issue where he had some weird problem, really bad. And the doctors that we used to go to didn't know exactly what was going on. They did x-rays, couldn't find anything. We were taking him to different places. They couldn't find the solution. Finally, we took him to this, like, official, like, animal hospital. Like, this is a place where, like, horses and, like, elephants would go to. <laughs> this was, this place was, like, so far from our house, it was unbelievable. But it was a huge building. And they took him, they actually did a CAT scan. Yeah, <laughs> go figure, CAT scan on a cat. <laughs> and they showed us the x-rays. And what they did was they had to lay him on his back like this. And they did a whole scan of his body. Now, I'm surprised that the doctors that we knew didn't see this, which was weird. But he, uh, his whole, like, like everything up here was fine. But down here, near his gut area, uh, it was all inflamed. Like, his whole, like, large intestinal tract was completely in, like, insanely big like it was inflamed like it was this it was puffed up like a balloon it was like a big bubble and it almost looked like he he had gas um it wasn't that though he had some really weird infection and they gave him an antibiotic and my god that knocked the cat out for a while but thankfully whatever they gave him worked and he lived a number of years but he was not feeling well at all. He didn't want to spend time with us. He wasn't eating properly. He was throwing up. He just was not feeling good at all. But after we gave him the medication, the antibiotics, he was perfectly fine. At least we thought. At least the infection didn't come back, but that wasn't the end of his health problems. As he got older, he started de developing like arthritis and he was having a really hard time on his feet. Like, he would take two steps and be like, and then two steps, and then, Ugh. I mean, he wasn't making any noises or anything. He was just like, like this with his paws. And especially his hindquarters, too. Sylvester's was a little different because he did get arthritis, but his hind legs, they were gone. Um, he was practically dragging them along uh, near the end. That was a really hard sight to see. This was like a week before he passed away. He was just practically dragging his hind legs, and that was just so bad. So what happened was, as the years went along after the incident, Simon went up and down, up and down. And then within this, within this like last year, he started really having some bad problems. And he started doing things he didn't normally do. He started peeing in my room, like, constantly. He was throwing up a lot. I remember the last time I stuck him on the bed. Actually, there was one time where I caught him sort of peeing on my bed as I was sleeping. Thankfully, it was near my legs. And the last time that I had him on the bed, he actually defecated himself. Yeah. Yeah. And it was after that, he literally in his mind was like, I can't be on the bed. Plus, he wasn't really super comfortable being on the bed. Like, there were a few times where I tried to get him back to being on the bed, but he just didn't want to go back on the bed. So, he basically, in his mind, was like, I'm done being on the bed. He didn't really want to hang out that much, which was really hard because it was very unusual because we always hung out, even when I came home from Universal. But during the last few months of his life, he didn't want any contact, which was very unusual. He hung out in the kitchen literally like the last few months of his life. And he wasn't able to walk very far anyway. Like the only places he really visited frequently were the kitchen, which is his hangout 
that was where he lived basically the rest of his life, and then the bathroom, which was where the litter box was. So he would just come out. There was like a little carrier that we had placed by the food. He would go in there, sleep, get some food, and go back in and sleep. He wouldn't return to my room, which was very hard. I would go out in the middle of the night just to check up on him. And there was this one this one day like my mind when I, I can predict death apparently because I was able to predict my grandmother's death like the very last day that I saw her I was like I'm not going to see her next week honest to god she does not look good at all by golly like three days later she passed away the very last day within 24 hours of seeing Simon he did not look good at all. And it was really hard. And it was at that point I had walked out into the kitchen and smelled something really bad. He actually pooped himself in bed. He didn't even take a step. It was it was awful. And I saw him like this and I was like he's going to be gone. He's there's no way he's going to be returning from this. So, this one day, his final day, I was off. Picture something. I'm looking at the date. It was on November 20th, 2019. I woke up the next part really broke my heart it was his time and all the cats they saw they knew somehow they knew he was going to go each one of them literally lined up in a line by his carrier and individually spent just a few moments with him. They touched his nose. They they just hung out for a few minutes. Then they left into the other room. Then the next one would line up individually I've never seen them do this ever I was the last person and I actually recorded it I'm not going to post it but I recorded my last few moments with him. I knelt down. I said, Simon, we've been friends a long time. I'll see you on the other side. I took my hand, my left hand. started petting him. He knew I was there. He just was so out of it. He did the sweetest thing. He literally put his head in my hand like it was cupped. My hand was cupped around his head. He put his head into my hand as a gesture of goodbye. Then he was gone. Just like that. That's all that's all that happened. He just that last goodbye. 
Then he was gone. <sighs> I've never been so emotionally attached to an animal as much as I did with Simon. I wasn't this em I wasn't this emotionally like sad with Sylvester's, but you know, Simon and I had a really big connection, guys. <sighs> Those moments <sighs> I'll never forget. There's gonna be no other cat like Simon. There never will be. Literally within 24 hours of him passing, it was almost, almost as an instinct. Spidey literally was like, we need to be pals at this point because Spidey was like Simon's Padawan because Simon was the one that taught him to do everything. And I guess in Simon's mind, he's like, I'm giving you everything, his room, everything, all my powers I'm giving to you. And Spidey has been hanging out with me ever since Simon passed away. We both had a special connection with Simon. He's been hanging out a lot more. Like his whole attitude just completely changed after he passed away. Simon, I mean. But all I'm going to say is that Simon was a very special cat. I, I miss him greatly. And it's hard because we still have the carrier in the kitchen. Spidey goes up to it and he sleeps in it or sleeps on top of it. It's hard. It hurts. Anyways, that's what happened to Simon. He's no longer with us, guys, but... I know that you guys really loved Simon. And I told him about the the comments you guys mentioned about him being the cutest cat ever, and I'm sure it made his day. But I do miss him a lot. So... Anyways, that's the video, guys. That's what happened with Simon. God, I can't believe it's been that long already. It's crazy. I miss all of our cats that we've had over the years. I miss all of them greatly. Ivy, Sylvester, Sweet Pea, Simon. We had two other cats that I wasn't really that well familiar with, but um, we had two other cats named Nikki and Fluffy. I kind of remember Fluffy, but he, I was like a baby when... When, when he was in the house so still all amazing cats but yeah all right guys i'm gonna end the video here thank you so much for watching <sighs> sorry that this was a very hard video to watch but i had to post this thank you so much for watching guys i will see you tomorrow hopefully with a more uplifting vlog have a great day guys see you tomorrow